So pole, previously known as Polygon Matic, it's sitting at 60 cents, 60.76, and it broke the downward trend. It is trying to go up now. I think this this is the peak. Yeah, it is the peak so far. And things are going well because we had a support at 50 cents and we are expecting Polygon Matic to go towards $1 from where it dropped. And finally, we will have some structure as it goes up because this is horrible. As it goes up to $1, we'll have a way better data. Anyway, now let's talk about stuff that will make our life easy 50 is way down we can use a support at 55 cents instead of 50 because if 55 cents breaks then we can say that okay it is on a downward journey towards 50 and then we would we can't say that 50 will break we, we have to actually sit down and see what what the hell happens there the gap is a bit uh, big we can't do that 55 and do we have a resistance? Hmm. Nope, it is sitting in its resistance area. This is almost the resistance area. The peak is at 62 cents, so there is no point of putting a resistance here. Now things can change. How can they turn bearish? If it starts going down from here, then it can be one big ass double top and then we would know, okay, now this is it, and now we are going to go down further. But it's too early to talk about. There is no point of doing that. Uh, 55 cents is a good support, but I would like to offer you something else. Hmm. We can do that with 58. Okay. I am going to offer you mini supports. You can use them. They're reliable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can use 58 cents as your first line of support. By the time you're watching this video, you will have clarity. It's sitting at 60 cents. I'm offering you 58 because of this cup and handle structure. Right now it is delivering on this cup and handle. We have seen um, this structure in so many other coins because the altcoins are having its own rally. Uh, they are outperforming Bitcoin as a whole as we speak. I've discussed it in the other videos if you watch them. Uh, 58 cents is a reliable support. It's not a mini support. It is a very good support. If it, by the time you're watching this video and it breaks 58 cents, which means it starts spending eight hours below 58 cents, then that's the indication that it is on a downward journey. And yes, 55 cents is there as a support, but don't use that. Um, rather use 58 cents if it is going to go below 58 then that pretty much tells me that it is going to go to below 55 as well it will lose the support of 55 i would rather um, keep my hopes towards 50 cents then because it is a good amount of bleed and closer to 50 cents it should stop and then we can start saying that okay now from here it would like to reverse and start an upward journey but we will see once it goes there. At this stage, there's nothing else to add. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, you will have clarity what happened to uh, Paul. Did it break 58 or did it actually continue with its upper journey towards 62, 65, all those targets? Look, in Polygon Matic, there's no point of sharing the top area because it is on a journey towards $1. Sharing smaller bits and pieces is useless because it's on an upward journey. It, there would be a day when it can just shoot up in one candle. What really matters is the support areas. It's not like other coins. Other coins have stronger resistance areas, but um, that's not the case scenario with pull. In case of pull, what matters is the support. As long as it holds support, you can expect it to go towards one dollar, and that's pretty much it. Yes, if it goes down towards 50, 40, then I can start talking about resistances of 60 cents, 50 cents, stuff like that. But if it is in this area, it's pointless. And 58 cents is a good reliable support to look on. 
thank you for watching the video if you have any questions or i have touched on a topic uh, and i you expect me to explain a bit more i'll try my best to explain that to you in the comments leave a comment and i'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe because if you're not interacting with the video or if you're not subscribed you're not going to see all the 10 videos that i make every day you're going to miss out on it and i think you are educated enough to understand what to subscribe and what not to because if you want to miss out on it then why not uh, it's for your own good and you should know better what is good for you